Now come over here. There you go. Ignore the little leg piece over there. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, whoops. I'm assuming this thing will make humans die really quick. This hospital is without a doctor. As you can clearly see, there are humans here in dire need of help or other things. And by other things, I mean these parts over here, unused human body parts that we can use to fix humans that are on the verge of dying. Now, the hospital has gotten some improvements. It's bigger. There's also people over here to the right. All of them are laying the wrong way because they're a bit daft in the head, if you know what I'm saying. And some of the guys over here, uh, the guy in the top left is most likely turning into a zombie soon. And uh, we don't know. But before I can go on messing around in this hospital, making humans either better or worse, I need to train to become a better doctor. Which is why Bob over here is hooked up to a heart rate monitor. Because People Playground has had an update that adds many things. One of which is this. <clears throat> it's a cardiopulmonary bypass machine. Totally didn't read that off the queue. Now with this thing, I should be able, right, to hook it up to human and make him live without a heartbeat. So this is to show that he has a heartbeat. Now I need to stop his heart so that we can see that the cardiopulmonary bypass machine is gonna work. All right now, how do we make him not have a heart? If I kill him, he's just gonna be dead, brain dead and stuff. So I just need his heart to stop. Adrenaline syringe. If we give enough of these to him, surely it'll stop his heart, right? Um, there you go. Perfect. All right. Uh, now he's laughing and having a great time. This is typical Bob, this. Typical Bob. All right. I need you to just fall over and die right now. Okay? Is that too much to ask? I think it's too much to ask. It's time to suffocate him. There you go. I just need you to freaking have a flat heart rate. There you go. That was what I was looking for. And now we've got a really, really quick way to fix him. Come on. Come on, work. Come on, work. Damn it. I'm gonna disable that because he's clearly dead. Okay, how do I wire? Does that work? How do I hook him up to this thing? I haven't studied doctorism at all. I don't, I don't know how this works. Blood vest. No heart. Wait, I it said no heart detected. What do you mean no heart detected? This guy surely has a heart. At least he had a heart before I freaking killed his ass. Okay, it's fine. Just stay like that. Okay, I need to. I, I, okay, I, so it depends on where I hook the machine up to him. Okay, got it. Over there. Active! <gasps> um, apparently, he has a heartbeat, thanks to the little machine over here, but he doesn't really live. So I don't know if it counts or not. Now, I want to see if there is a way for me to supercharge this cardiopulmonary bypass machine. God, I'm so freaking good at that, which is why I've hooked it up to a generator. Now, what happens if I just gently increase the power to it? Will the heart rate go up? Uh, I don't see any change in the heart rate. So I don't think this machine works with power, but I just feel I need to try this on a subject that's alive. No offense, dead guy. All right, here we go. Uh, active. Okay, let's amp up the power a bit. Here we go. Come on. Nothing's happening. No, it's not giving him a quicker heart. Damn it. I thought I could turn him into Superman. Well, at least I can turn him into mush. <laughs> So, uh, listen here, okay? Even though he's burning up, even though he's a pile of flesh, he still has a running heart. Thanks to the carbon nearby me machine. I just need you to stop. Stop. Thank you. Now this here looks like your ordinary tube, but this is a ray cannon. And we're gonna try it out on Bob, yes, on Bob over here. So just stay in front of it. I'm assuming this thing will make humans die really quick. Yeah, pretty much. Oh crap, I think I even injured the hospital because there's a bunch of dead body parts everywhere. I need to become a doctor real quick so I can fix this mess. This box over here is a liquid duplicator machine, right? So we need to fill it with some liquids, which is why we're filling it with blood, because why not? And once it's filled with blood, 
it's gonna duplicate it. And I don't know how that works, but we're gonna find out because maybe it's useful in my career as a unsuccessful, unmoralistic doctor. Oh, look at that, he duplicates it and he pumps it back. Oh, is it like an infinite source of blood? Have I just created? Okay, I, th I think this might create an infinite amount of blood, which is why I'm now showering Bob with his cloned blood. Apparently, this cube over here is just able to make infinite amounts of fluids, which is perfect. Imagine creating nitroglycerin and just being able to pump it into humans' bodies indefinitely. Oh, I can't wait! Now these over here are concrete sl You can stop showering now. You, you, can, you can stop it, okay? You can just, just, just don't shower anymore. There you go. They look like ordinary pieces of concrete, but I know for a fact in this update, if we break them hard enough, there you go, we get these bits and bobs with rebar sticking out of them. And we all know what these rebars are good for. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think I've learned enough on how to be a successful and good doctor. So why don't we skip ahead and go to the hospital and take care of some actual patients. Now you seem to be in the most dire situation here. You're either having a massive <coughs> erection or a leg that is, you know, having a life of its own. Don't worry, Dr. Wack is over here. Now don't worry, Bob to the left over there is just to simulate the fact that I'm present. So this syringe here is empty. We need to take a sample to see what he's, you know, made out of. So is there a way for me to extract his liquids with just empty syringe? Wait, I fell out of the hospital? I am useless, which is why I'm just gonna to knock myself out so I don't make a ruckus. Let's identify the liquid. What is Bob made out of? Empty! He doesn't have any liquids in him whatsoever, so we need to pump something in him to possibly turn him back into life. Now, isn't it perfect that we have the liquid duplifier, du whatever it is, we can just make a liquid and pump it into him and see what happens. Now, the next best thing to human blood is, of course, gorse blood, which is why I've now made a canister full of gorse blood. Now, let's pump this into Bob and see if we can... Oh, okay. Oh, he's, he's having some open wounds. I I can see that. <laughs> okay. We need to fix... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. He's... Oh, this is not good. Not good. Not good. Okay. Um, Mending syringe. Maybe, maybe that'll help. I, I know Bob is kind of in pieces right now, but just maybe. Just maybe. He'll... Look at that. Kind of mends him a little bit. There you go. Let's put this in all his body parts. Look at that. Good as new, Bob. Let's just ignore the fact that you're a complete skeleton right now. Don't go into the room next to you. There's some messed up stuff in there. Now, what seems to be the problem with you then? You seem to have an open wound in your heart and you're slowly losing blood. So let's just fix that first with a coagulation syringe. This should stop the bleeding, there you go. And then we need to fill him up with some more liquids. Now to the right of you, there is a flask of human blood, but I don't want you to have just human blood. Oh, what the hell was that? Is the hospital just breaking on me right now? I want you to have like a 50-50 mixture of human blood and gorse blood which is what I've created now. This should make you either dead or alive. So I'll just, let's just see if this works. There you go, perfect. Oh, wait, you just turned the gorse blood into human blood. <gasps> You're a healer. You're able to turn zombified humans back into humans. So let's put that to the test then. Let's make you a zombie. Yeah, you're laughing now. You're not gonna laugh for long. You see this little dot over there? You're slowly turning into a zombie. <laughs> Don't you worry, Bob over here is able to cure you easy peasy. Now since Bob over here might actually contain the perfect amount of human and gorse blood, we're just gonna pump it out there and then we're gonna duplicate it. There you go. Now we're gonna pump this into the zombified human and see if we can cure him. Don't you worry, it's just gonna sting a little. There you go, all right. Um, yeah, okay. I think I miscalculated something. He's definitely not being cured. And there's only one thing to do against zombified humans. That's right. I think he still might've been human. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're, you're losing your legs. This is not good. There's only one way out of this and that's to use a death syringe. Perfect. Wait, if he's a zombie, he's already dead. So he shouldn't be able to like die from, that's weird. Just freaking take the syringe and die. Okay. And stay the hell dead. 
Uh, this guy seems to be perfectly fine, so I don't even know why he's over here. Maybe he's here just for some companionship. But I'm not really one for companionships. I just want to experiment on humans. This is a temperature immunity syringe. There you go. Now with this, Bob over here should be immune to temperatures. And there's only one way to find out if that works. Uh, that's to put a heating element straight on his straight on his dick and see if it works or not. And let's also make the temperature into just a modest 400 then. Surely that'll, that'll warm up a bit. Oh, right. So the syringe that I just put into him said that it was making him temperature immune. But I mean, it's... Oh my, just freaking silence. Silence. So he might be immune to heating experiments, but he's not immune to being stuffed with a sock in his throat. So he can't breathe. So he's going to suffocate. Now you seem to have problems with your legs over here. Yeah, you, these things, they need to be amputated. And don't you worry, I've got just the thing. This here is an amputation syringe. It'll automatically remove the legs from your body so that you won't have any troubles. <laughs> Oh, crap. Did I just amputate his penis? I think I did. Oh, no. Okay, right? <clears throat> Don't worry about it. This here is a life syringe. It'll heal you right back up. Nice. You see, I fixed your leg. Just, <clears throat> yes, just just ignore this bit. That's, you, you, you don't need that. You don't need it. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, how are your limbs looking then? Ignore these parts on you here. This is not... A part of the uh, experiment. Okay, right. You are, you're totally fine. This is a piece of rebar. Um, You're not fine anymore. So let's fix you up real good then. And by fixing up, I mean doing something extremely unethical. Now come over here. There you go. Ignore the little leg piece over there. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, whoops. I'll be honest. I thought I could put this human into this little box over here, but he doesn't really... He doesn't really go there, so I can't clone a human, even though he's 80% water, which is a shame. But um, since this hospital is destructible and I need to get rid of all my evidence, I'm gonna destroy it. And I'm gonna destroy it the only way I know how. Driving a semi-truck with a nuclear bomb filled with humans into it. Surely nothing can go wrong. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I know. Oh, thank God the bomb didn't go off. 